Today I'm excited because I get an exclusive look inside the workshop of a baker I've admired for a long time. Oye, what a view! O sea, no wonder you make such amazing bread! Yes, yes, yes. Irving Quiroz is a bread-making trendsetter. He's one of the few generational bakers willing to share his family secrets. As an author and teacher, he has dedicated his career to generating pride in Mexican bread making. ¿Sabes qué? En mi caso, uh-huh. eh, ser panadero en México uh-huh. no es algo muy... que yo me sintiera orgulloso. Entonces sí. yo, yo quería tener mi diploma francés. Ah. Y hoy en día lo que más me enorgullece es decir que soy panadero mexicano, ¿sabes? After leaving home to train in France, he returned to Monterrey with renewed purpose to explore and share his country's baking traditions. O sea, porque tú tienes esto como en tu ADN. Sí, exactamente. One of those traditions is the perfect campechana, a classic Mexican pan dulce made with puff pastry consisting of only five ingredients. Flour, salt, sugar, water, and fat. I'm obsessed with the campechana. Yes. And I feel like it's a very simple thing, but yes. almost impossible to achieve. Yes. Right? Yes. It's anything but simple to achieve the crunch of the perfectly caramelized exterior that gives away to the deliciously crisp and airy center. For me, yo digo que es el, el hojaldre de los pobres. No tiene mantequilla, no tiene margarina, tiene manteca. I didn't know. Si lo haces con mantequilla, es imposible. Really? Sí. Ay, pues por eso no me sale. Sí, claro, sí. Within a few minutes of learning from Irving, I'm already a better baker, I think. Mm. You're looking for the window pane the window effect. Pane. Bueno. So if you stretch it, soft and long enough, you should be able to see light through it. I'm making holes. Yes. <laughs> vamos a you aquí. did it right, okay. Ahora, vamos a, a preparar en la mesa un okay. cuadro. Esto es otro okay. secreto de, de los panaderos. Okay. Vamos a, a, a dibujar un cuadro okay. con la manteca. Esto qué? va a ayudar a que la masa se quede perfectamente bien pegada. Ah. Para que después cuando la estires tenga resistencia y quede estirada. Ok. ¿Sí? Esto es un palo de, de plástico, pero puede ser un palo de escoba. Y ahora voy a empezar. ¡Ay, qué rico! Justamente a estirar Ajá. a lo máximo y oh. enrollo. Estiro y lo que estoy haciendo, estoy enrollando muchas capas de masa y grasa, como si fuera un hojal. Yeah, let me try. Sure. Pero en the challenge here is not to break it. Exactamente. I can feel the pool. This is so much fun. Básicamente así. Ajá. Uh-huh. Yeah. Así. Yeah. Esto va hacia arriba. Ay, wow. Wow. I need to find me one of those sticks. Vamos a trabajar con la con la con la masa campechana. Okay. Irving is an encyclopedia of baking knowledge. He spent years researching his top-selling books by building trust with local bakers who, over time, share their secrets, like how to create 60 layers in a single pastry. Ahora, este es otro truco. Si tú tienes 20 vueltas aquí, pero tú haces una vuelta sencilla como una... como un hojaldre, yeah. ahora tienes 60 vueltas. That's amazing. El azúcar. All of this new information is making me very hungry. So let's get this in the oven already. So glorious! Yes, yes. This is insane! Because it's now, oh, and they're puffing and they're bubbling. Yes, yes. Because now it's all puffed up with the yes, first rice. Yes. And I can just imagine the crisp layers. Yes. And now the top is completely melted into yes, caramel. Yes. A real ah, I'm like dying to bite into one. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, yeah no, this is. And this the smell is it. So, you're making me so happy. Matt, I think that we need to bring the microphone down yes. so you can get the sound of the, of the crunch. Sure. Ready? Mmm. 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 No words. Mmm. The millions of crunches. Yes. yes it's yes. not too sweet. Just a little bit, but it's crunchy in mm. every bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm. No, I love it. I can see your face. Have you ever heard 
these Beagle Pet Crunch. 